Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here, this question is asking: Plane X is equal to 10 carries a current of 100 milliampere per meter along A5, while line X is equal to 1, Y is equal to negative 2 carries a filamentary current of 25 milliampere along AC. Determine HH432. Okay, here we have two current. First, they are saying plane X is equal to 10 carries a current of 100 milliampere per meter along A5. So this is H rho. Okay, and also they are saying line x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 2, negative 2 carries a filamentary current of 25 milliampere along AZ. This one is HL. Okay, this is the magnetic field intensity due to the length wire, or we can say infinite long wire. And this rho is magnetic field intensity due to the plane current. Okay, now we have these two currents. So the total magnetic field intensity H is going to be what? Addition of these two. HL plus H rho. Now let's start with HL. HL is the current, uh, I mean magnetic field intensity due to the due to the infinite line line. Okay, so that's HL. Now let's go ahead and calculate that one first. This can be calculated using this formula. I over 2 phi rho A phi. We know the current that's provided for line that's 25 milliampere, but we have to calculate the rho and a phi. Now rho is the location of this one. Here they have mentioned x is equal to one, y is equal to negative two, and this current is going along the a z axis. It means if we consider this point, we are interested in this point h is at two, so we can take that z is equal to two. Okay. So we have the point of this uh, long wire at x1, negative 2 and 2 and the point we are interested in is 4, 3, 2. So the row value is going to be the distance between them. So we just have to subtract this one from this one and square and square root. That's going to be the row values. Let's, calculate, let's go ahead and calculate the row value. Row value is going to be square root of 4 minus 1 square. I'm just subtracting this one from this one plus 3 minus minus 2 whole square minus minus 2 whole square plus 2 minus 2 whole square and finally we will end up with 3 square that's 9 and 3 minus minus 2 that's going to be 5 5 square 25 and then 2 minus minus 2 that's going to be 0 so 0 square and 9 plus 24 25 that's going to give us square root of 34 this is this is I mean this is our row value we calculated the row value now a phi is nothing but a l cross a rho a l is the direction of the wire infinite long wire okay let's write this one a phi is equal to a l cross a rho now a rho can be calculated just using this same technique like first we have to calculate the length and then we have to divide by its magnitude now a rho can be calculated using this this way a rho is equal to the same thing 4 minus 1 in the x direction plus 3 minus minus 2 in the y direction plus 2 minus 0 in the z direction okay divided by the magnitude that is 34 square root of 34 and if we simplify this one let's continue here if we simplify this one a rho is going to become a rho is going to become 3 ax plus 5 ay plus 2 az divided by square root of 34 so this is our a rho value now we have to know what is al is al is they have mentioned this is going along z axis so al is going to be a z okay now let's get rid of this part because we are trying to find a phi so we just have to cross this one with al that's a z so a phi is going to be a z cross this one 3 a x plus 5 a y plus 2 a z 
divided by 34, square root of 34. And from this one you can see z cross z, this z will go away because z cross z that's going to be 0. So when you cross product z times, I mean z cross ax, that's going to give you, like after you do the cross product you will end up with minus 5ax plus 3ay divided by square root of 34. So this is our a5 value and we have all the value. We calculated the row that is this one and we found out a5 that is this one. So we just try to plug it in this equation. HL is equal to i over 2 phi rho a5. Okay now let's get rid of this thing and write our final answer. Final answer for HL but we still have to find out h rho. Okay, let's continue here. So HL is going to be equal to 25, like uh, we know that I over 2 phi rho, I is what? 25 milliampere. So 25 divided by 2 phi square root of 34. Square root of 34 is a rho value. 34 multiplied by A5. We just found out A5, what is it? a5 is negative 5ax plus 3ay divided by square root of 34 and uh, we still have a milli 25 milliampere so I keep the milli right here so we just found out hl now the next thing is we have to find out h rho h rho is the magnetic field intensity due to the seat of current density so here they have given the current density 100 milliampere per meter we can calculate the so when the current density is given we can calculate the h rho using this formula h rho is equal to 1 over 2 k cross a n k is the current density that's provided 100 milliampere per meter so we just have to find out what is a n and plug it in the equation okay a n is a n is the uh, normal vector a unit normal vector that is directed from the current sheet to the point of interest so here a n is going to be the normal to the point of interest that's going to be a x in our case that's a x a n is equal to a x so let's use a different color a n is equal to a x therefore h rho is going to be half hundred milliampere per meter this one is 100 milliampere per meter and AX cross we are looking at AC here we have AZ so AZ and finally we will end up with minus 50 milli AY so we found out H rho and also we found out HL we just have to add them together to find out final H okay so for HL we have X and Y component, for H rho we have only Y component, right? This is our HL and this one is H rho. So H is going to be addition of these two. Let's continue here. H is going to be addition of these two. And if you simplify this one, HL, you are going to get negative 1.47 m milli ax plus 0 0.88 milli ay minus 50 milli ay okay after we simplify everything we are going to get minus 1.47 ax minus 49.12 ay and then that's it and milliampere per meter that's going to be our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching